you love hip hop. Um, you know what? Actually, Stan are most deaf friends. His pals, his crew, the gang. You know, the Cat Williams interview has been out for a while now. There's been a lot of different things that were unleashed or unhatched from that, from that interview. One of the big talks or talking points that came out of that interview was the whole men wearing dresses or black men wearing dresses in movies. Okay. The emasculation of the black man in Hollywood. And a couple of things, a couple of people have spoken out. Marlon Wayne spoke out. You know, talking about how he was in White Chicks and they decided to do that themselves. It wasn't no agenda. Um, he needs to chill. A few people at this point now have spoken and responded to the whole Cat Williams thing. Okay? Including Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle got on the on the stage, said that Cat is, you know, why are you always talking about black people? You know, why ain't you trying to bring down anybody else? Why ain't you talking about no white comedians? He didn't he didn't diss Cat Williams per se, but he he did have his his share of what the you know his opinions on the whole Cat Williams Shannon Sharp interview. Now, a couple of things that I seen popping off is the fact that Dave Chappelle, you know, he was on Oprah talking. They showed that a old Oprah clip of him talking about oh uh, you know I would never wear a dress and how he was there trying to make him wear a dress. I actually have that in one of the slides here. Because, lo and behold, Dave Chappelle actually did wear a dress in an old skit from 1993. So, we'll go through here. So, I don't know who this gentleman is over here. And he's playing Robin um, from the Howard Stern show. He's playing Robin from the Howard Stern show. And I don't know who this gentleman is over here, but he's obviously Howard Stern. No one racist, but hey. So let me ask you guys a question. What you call this? What you call this? Gang, what is this? You know, he doesn't have the wig on. Okay, he didn't go full, full drag. He's got a push-up bra over here. All right? Looks like a dress to me, gang. What's that, lipstick? What? Thank you, what? What? what, what, what? <laughs> Hmm. Ew, really? Probably a chest goal. <laughs> hey, Robin, you taking temperature? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we just stick to the thermometer. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Robin. Somebody call Boosie. And what all white people in the in the quote unquote like fake audience that they have? <laughs> Chucking it up. Wow. Sorry for the audio, gang. Wear this dress. We want you to. So, this is where I discovered this. Big salute to Vlad TV. Big salute to TK Kirkland T to the mother effing K. All right. I was watching the TK Kirkland interview or one of the clips from the TK Kirkland interview. And they mentioned the whole dress thing and the Cat Williams thing. He was asking him his opinion on the whole Cat Williams interview, okay? And this is where they brought this up, and this is where I decided to go do my own research and find those that clip that I just showed you. Be this prostitute that helps Martin Lawrence break out of jail, and he's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to wear a dress. But with the internet being the internet, some footage came out where Dave Chappelle, back in the day, did a skit with Howard Stern where he's wearing a dress. And that wasn't Howard Stern. See that? No. Let me show you. 
Man. Even T.K. Kirkland, the man who knows everything, who's been in every place with every person, does not know about this. And you can't lie on this thing. It'll catch up to you. I've seen that before. Man said, wow. I think I fared up too much, jerks. All right, let's... Uh, so there's Dave Chappelle with uh, makeup on. Uh, fake titty. Make sure you show that on the, when we yeah, do we're, this. We're gonna show yeah, it. make sure you show it. We're, now, we're gonna show it. Um, TK looks hurt. Look at TK. Look at him. Look at him, man. Gang, look at the man's face. That's pain. It's like, damn. We wear this dress. We want you to be this prostitute that helps. So. Let's go to Oprah. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them. Dots. Like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because. There's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. Oprah can't believe it neither. The writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene. Hilarious. Where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on. And it, huh? What? The prostitute? No, nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. That should have been in a discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean... It's a hilarious bit. All the greats have... I mean, I'm a conspiracy comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every, every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Berle? Ba, 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 ba. You know, we're going like this. And then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves. And then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. Okay, we don't have to go through this. I think we've all seen this before. All the comics that I've seen. And, and this is what he had to say about Cat Williams. And he does it all the time. Mixed with the MREC TV. Uh -oh. Right. So here we are. Now, the comments did respond. Like people in my comments went crazy. Right. Like, I don't know if everybody. Actually, a lot of people didn't see this. And this is from 1993, apparently. And some of the things that people were saying in the comments is that this could be. And you know, what? we'll do this. All right. We'll allow some of the comments. We'll, we'll do that. We'll allow some of the comments to be true, right? This could have been something that he did before he realized that there was an agenda in Hollywood to emasculate the black man and put them in dresses so that in the future, you know, you'll get the big, big movies, the big, big bucks. All right. Now we can do that. However, somebody did say in the comments that he did it twice. Where is it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He did it. Didn't like it and took a stand against it. And uh, big salute to Rich Kid. He said he did it. Didn't like it. Took a stand against it personally. Um, how else um, would he understand the conspiracy if he had never gone through it? Okay, I get it. I receive that. I absorb what the, the the sentiment. However, this guy right here, aka, not this 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 guy, Toronto legendary producer, Tone Mason's Melly, says he wore a dress twice. And then this other person, um said and he added me 
Hanif, um, G number seven says Friday. He also wore female clothing in Robin Hood men in tights. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, gang. I Santa Claus in, isn't always real. I'm sorry. Robin Hood. Ooh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, this is grainy as hell. Time out, time out. What is wrong? I should have never worn these shoes. Oh, oh my God. Lincoln, fix your... Lord Jesus. And don't even be like, but it's a timepiece, so it's different because, do you know, it's the Middle Ages. And Listen, this is this Robin Hood ain't real, gang. So let's not even do that. It's 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 fake. Where's my mouse? I got excited. Holy, where is this? Boobs. You look like a bleeding Picasso. Goodness gracious. There we go. What's that, gang? What you call that? Ooh, with the weave. He got the real expensive weave too. Damn. Ooh. Let's see when Robin Hood in tights was made. I should have known because of the name of the movie. Let's search Wikipedia. Robin Hood in the 19... It's a 1993 adventure comedy. So 1993. So, okay. Okay. Maybe it's before he knew there was an agenda. Maybe. We were still in 93. Maybe in 95. He said, you know what? Another dress? Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's a conspiracy. Now it's a conspiracy. Put a dress on me three times. Oh, you all are trying to get me. You're trying to make me gay. All black men gay. <laughs> God damn. Oof. Oof. So we have that. Okay. And we have. I mean, where's this dress? <laughs> wow, 93 was a great year, eh? Holy smokes. 93, the year of the dress. <clears throat> what was I doing in 93? I was in a crack spot. I wasn't wearing a dress. Listen, maybe there was no agendas in 93. Maybe the agenda only started in 97. Right? We weren't even advanced enough to even know that the, you know, agendas can exist. Who knows? But I see this one. And then I see this two. I don't know. I smell a little bit of hypocrisy right here. We could still go with, you know, maybe he didn't know. I mean, I'm a, all the comics that I've seen, man, you know, strong brothers. Why, why are they putting us in these dresses? But the minute it was clear, I was adamant. I'm not wearing a dress. I'm not wearing the dress. All right. Fine. Think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later. The whole so it was... That was on the movie there with Martin. But with Robin Hood and Heights, he was like, yeah, yeah where, where's my dress? Make sure to get my size right. Oh, no, say, how, damn, how did you write the scene so fast? <laughs> you know, it's like, so you got to take a stink. 
Got to take a stand. Got to take a stand. Okay? You can't be having these white men putting you in dresses. You look like you dressed yourself, my G. That one is an independent right here. This is this is on your own. We can go Robin Hood and tights. You didn't know that there was an agenda going on at the time. But if these are both in the same year, I guess what? We're going to have to dig deeper and find out which what happened first, the, the chicken or the egg. This is indie. And in Robin Hood and tights is a, I guess, relatively big budget flick. Right? How much money did they spent on that? Did he tell us? It started it grows seventy two million dollars on a budget of twenty million dollars. Right there, in black and white, on Wikipedia, so you know it's real. No, not necessarily, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Peace Love says Dave got misgendered. Yeah, is that a, are you he, him, or him, they? Is he playing a transgender in that role? What's going on over here? What you call that? Listen, I just wanted to bring that to y'all attention. I kept on forgetting. Every time we do another episode, I'm like, oh, the, the dress, the, the, the dress. But yes, Dave Chappelle. Listen, I love Dave Chappelle's comedy as well. I'm not a Dave Chappelle hater. I'm not here to try to dis, dis demand him. But what's right is right, bro. You got to keep it real, fam. But uh, let's move on. Let's move on. We love hip hop.